Quick note from the Valley. We saw the best headline out on gizmodo.com. Uh, the headline stated, oh God, Bravo's Silicon Valley show looks even worse than we thought. Uh, have you seen any of this reality show promo yet? Yeah, I've seen it. I've been following that story from the beginning. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, either way, first of all, I think the show is going to be horrible, but I think it's going to surprise people because, one, I'm going to watch every episode because uh, I know some of the people in there, at least I know one person, um, uh, one of the videographers that we used to work with back in my last startup, Pod Tech. But, um, you know, this really is ultimately a weird deal because uh, one tweet by Chris Tolles, ex-Netscape executive, now runs uh, Topex CEO, he says, this is Hollywood's answer to SOPA. Uh, meaning, you know, payback. This totally not a representation of Silicon Valley. There's no Asians in there. There's no Indian character. Um, it makes it be more glamorous than it really is. And we saw the failure of um, uh, Gawker Media's uh, Valley Wag. It's just a testament to the fact that Silicon Valley is boring. It's just, it's it's you know it's an innovation hub and it's sexy and they're going to try to sexy it up a little bit. Um, but it's going to be fun to watch. And again, like I said on my Twitter account, it's better than watching, you know, uh, storage wars and parking wars on Bravo. So, you know, it's good to see Silicon Valley come back and we're going to see how the young people react to it. Will they have the digital IQ? I think they will. I think that'll align with people. If keeping up with the Kardashians can get the ratings, then I think, you know, Bravo might have a chance to do something with the Silicon Valley story. But it's totally not representative of Silicon Valley at all. Well, John, thanks so much for joining us. Great to have you on, as always. Great. For information on news of the day and the latest breaking analysis, stay tuned to News Desk right here on SiliconANGLE TV.